Bristol Commander, Acting Superintendent Dix Hayward Meenan. At 11.57 yesterday, we received a report of a man with a suitcase acting suspiciously on Clifton Suspension Bridge. Officers arrived at the bridge within 10 minutes of the call, but the man had already left the area, leaving the suitcase behind. A second suitcase was located nearby a short time later. Sadly, the suitcases contained human remains. An immediate search of the area was carried out by officers on the ground with the support of the National Police Air Service and His Majesty's Coast Guard following the discovery of the suitcases. These searches remain ongoing. Our major crime investigation team has launched an investigation which involves specialist officers and staff from across our organisation. Our immediate priority is to locate the man who took the suitcases to the bridge, identify the deceased and inform their next of kin. We are releasing an image of a man that we are currently looking for, which I shall hold up now for you and I will show afterwards. And I shall show this afterwards for you. He is described as black with a beard. He was wearing a black Adidas baseball cap with a white motif, a black jacket with a motif on the chest, and black trainers with thick white soles. He is also believed to be wearing, or have been wearing, a gold earring and was carrying a black backpack. Officers are currently working to track his movements through CCTV, and I can confirm that we know he left in the direction of Lee Woods behind me. At this stage, we are not aware of any current risk he poses to the wider public. However, if anyone sees him, we advise them not to approach him and please do call 999 immediately. A forensic post-mortem examination is currently taking place and whilst we continue to examine the scene, specialist investigators are working around the bridge and the surrounding area. As such, the bridge will remain closed whilst these inquiries are conducted. Initial inquiries have established the man with the suitcases was taken to the bridge in a taxi. This vehicle has been seized and the driver is helping us with our inquiries. This is a very disturbing incident and I fully recognise the concern it will cause for our communities. We currently have an increased presence of officers in the area and I encourage anyone who has any concerns to please do speak with one of the team. As soon as we have any new information that I can share, I will of course provide an update because I know so many unknowns in this situation will cause worry. Anyone with any information, no matter how insignificant you think that it is, please do contact us. There are two processes and ways in which you can get in touch, we are, which we are currently setting up. The first is online through our major incident public portal at mipp.police.uk. Or you can call the incident room direct on the two following numbers 0800 056 0944 or alternatively if you're calling from outside of the UK 0, uh, 0207 158 0010. I'm now happy to take some questions that remind anybody 
that um, if you do see the individual that we think matches the UK matching description, 999, please. Actually, Commander, can we just... Okay. Right, so, what can you tell us about the person who has been found in the suitcases? Gender, age, recent uh, time so, of death? Is it so at, at this time, Rob, uh, at this time, uh, a forensic post-mortem examination is currently underway, um, so we cannot confirm any information because that is still ongoing. As soon as I have that information, we will make sure that we share it. Is Can it one? Is it one victim? One or victim uh, people or persons? At this time, I can't confirm because that forensic post-mortem is underway, and we will have that information and share it as soon as we do. Did the taxi driver pick the pick? the man you're interested in locally or was he at this, at this stage we are still working with the taxi driver he's helping us with our inquiries and part of the investigation will be to understand that journey because a lot of taxis now have cctv in their cars. and, and uh, i'm sure that that will form part of the investigation thank you so much um uh, how, have you got any sense of who this person might be I, is anybody missing this for instance that was relevant potentially have you contacted this family to, so, to see whether or not this might be him? So I understand that the parallels that might be made with, with Jack's case um, and we would uh, ask anybody to avoid any speculation at this time. What I can confirm is just because of the nature of the incident and the concerns that people may have and as you, as you pointed out there, a senior officer has been in contact with Jack's family to inform them of the incident but I can confirm at this time that no parallels are being actively drawn. But are there any other missing people out there that you think it potentially could be? So this is very early stages in the investigation, um, so I can't comment on that um, one way or the other, I'm afraid. But as soon as I can, I will give you more. Do you have any numbers uh, in terms of officers <coughs> involved in this, obviously a very significant manhunt for this dangerous person? So in terms of specific numbers of officers involved, no, I don't have numbers to hand. However, we've got people from our neighbourhood policing team who were the officers you saw me speaking to a moment ago who are providing that reassurance on the scene and talking to individuals. We've got our major crime investigation team which consists of police staff, investigators, detectives and the like as well as specialist units. So there are a number of people working on this because I know it will cause concern and we want to find out what's happened as much as everybody else does. So Do you have an idea of the, uh, the identity of the man though? At this time, without uh, the forensic post-mortem results, I cannot comment on that. Not, not the victim, sorry, the man. The man we're looking for. Mm. Um, I know what I just shared with you in terms of that um, photograph. So at this time, um, that his identity, we are still working out who that person is. And are there searches happening anywhere else in Bristol or, or otherwise? So I can't come out on that this time because um, uh, we are still at very, very early stages of investigation trying to identify who the person was in that still and have those forensic post-mortems on, uh, on the, uh, uh, the suitcases. Can I just ask you to clarify the sequence of events last night? Um, who notified who the Duke of the Police? Was it security staff? Who took that photo? Um, anything else you can say about the actual incident and the actual identity of this man? So as you, as you can imagine at the moment, the people that have, that have called us and the report that we've had will form part of the investigation and part of the evidential process. So at uh, this time, I can't, I'm not going to disclose who made that call, but what I can say is at 11.57, we received a report that I've outlined there and that the, uh, the image that was taken, uh, we will also discuss the, the provenance of that in due course as part of the investigation. Um, yeah, Vix, I missed some of your statements, so I probably have said this, but do you have any evidence to suggest whether this person might be getting harboured by other others or if they're working alone? Or? Truthfully at the moment this is um, a very open investigation, we've got an open mind to all of the situations that could occur, um, I, I can't confirm one way or another because we are at the moment still trying to identify um, the person in the still as well as um, identify uh, the remains in the uh, suitcases. Yeah, just a couple of questions Paul please. Presumably, excuse me, presumably you've had a chance to look at the cameras on the bridge? Not me personally but we as the police I presume is part of, in fact I'm confident that, that will be part of our investigation. So presumably you've got a fairly good idea of you know, the sequence of events. Yeah. Uh, can you give us a little, a little bit more detail about what those images yeah. will have shown? So at this time the investigators are, are, do, are doing that and, and they are putting together the, the time frame of what's happened um, and the inquiries that may come out of that um, and it's important that they are given the time to be able to establish those and establish that time frame and we will come back to you when we are able to firm it up specifically for you as well as potentially um, any inquiries that have come out the back of it that we may need your support on uh, later on as uh, as media but just and specifically so did the did the taxi arrive on the bridge from this side or from the lee woods side um i don't have the answer to that at the moment truthfully uh, not because we don't know but i don't have the answer myself to that can i have a question this is a particularly horrific discovery 
How has it affected the office you see within this And I, I'm grateful for you asking that question. Um, uh, it's uh, something that in a career I'm sure um, somebody would never even anticipate um, coming across as part of their duty. So um, I can't speak on behalf of them because I haven't had the privilege of speaking to them. But what I can reassure you is that they are being supported and making sure that in the round um, we are making sure that everybody connected with this investigation, their welfare is taken care of and we're considering that. But thank you for that question. Thank you, Thank you very much. We'll move. <laughs> Just one more question. In one of the reports I've seen, there's a suggestion, an eyewitness well, suggesting they heard him shout in Spanish. Is that a line of inquiry? He might be yeah. So we're open to national. all lines of inquiry at the moment, and what we can share, we, we will do. So just moving around, I will move back round to fine. I'm not going to go anywhere until everybody's got a, what they're happy with as a good shot of this person. We are going to be sharing it electronically as well. Where, where was that taken? <laughs> Um, I can't confirm that at the moment. I just hold it. Um, yeah, so, yeah, that's fine. That's great. I'll come in round to the left and then I'll come back round to the right. Oh, thank you. I'm going further left now. Thank you. Looks like chill in the UK. Hang on, it's a bit of shadow. Hang on, go back there and I'll come round. Got it? Um, is that the only photo you have? That we're releasing at this time. <coughs> Thank you. That's quite a good photograph though, isn't it? It's all right. Yeah. Yeah, it is. Don't worry, I'm coming back round to the right team. I think this is going out on email or something. Yes. Yeah, there's another photo as well. Very similar. Well, he's definitely a wanted man now, isn't he? Definitely. I shall indeed. You could comment, you could say what you came down. Only <laughs> <laughs> Last one and I'm going left, team. I'm trying to say no comments, but it's not allowed. Um, at, at this time I can confirm, um, I, I know that the searches that we are focusing on is, is Bristol, but um, I can't definitively say if, uh, until we understand uh, the individual, the identity of the individual, or confirm the remains. So it's just Bristol at the moment where the search is? In the vicinity of, of here. Okay. Yeah. Do you think possibly he came in the daytime at all? I can't, I can't comment. I don't know. We were still very much early stages of an investigation. Okay? Yeah, where was that photograph taken? I don't, uh, you don't I, know. I don't know. I okay. truthfully don't know. Right. Photograph going once, going twice. Thank you. Cool. I'm going to ask her if she wants. Sorry, it's a question. I'm looking for Lee Woods. What's that, sorry? Lee Woods. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Sorry, I don't know what you said. Yeah, it's Lee Woods. <laughs> 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 There's lights over there, isn't there? It's probably in the, the streetlights. I guess. Uh, yeah, there's also double lights. Uh, so at the moment, acting Bristol Commander. Yeah, Bristol Commander. Yeah. 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 Right. Happy? Yeah. Let's talk to these guys. Uh. Independent journalist. Yeah. Thanks, man. Yeah. Sorry, I didn't get the image. I was just live. Might I ask a favour because my wife has already picked up on it. Melon rather than melon. Thank you. Um, thank thank you. you so much. Uh, it saved me so much uh, earache. Thank you. Yeah, I just want to make sure. The, okay. the, the, the remains yeah. are, are, um, are, are being looked at with the forensic pathologist. Okay. Yeah, okay. Thank you. Okay. Fabulous. Thank you. Can we leave him? Okay. Well, yeah, you can walk back to this room. <laughs> have, you said, have you said who alerted the police? They're not saying. No, 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 not this time. Okay. Fabulous. Let's go. Thank you, everybody. Thanks. Thank you. Thanks, everyone. Thank you. Cheers. Do you want a bit of charge? Oh, we've got a, well, I've got a, I found a